Welcome to Cindy's Creative Inspirations. I'm Cindy Ectena, owner and designer at StampingScrapping.com. Today, I'm going to create a card for you using the new Spellbinders Nest Abilities Card Creator dies. Card Creator is a new collaborative effort between Spellbinders Paper Arts with myself as the designer of these new dies. Card Creator features two matting basic sets, matting basics A and B. These two sets allow you to achieve one eighth, one quarter, and one half perfect card layers for an A2 card. But as you will see, I will be using them on a six by six card and they actually work beautifully on any size card for perfect layers. Card Creator also features four fancy accent sets that complement the basics and more are coming in the very near future. Today's card will use matting basic set A, the fancy ribbon threader, and then I'm also using two of my new favorite release summer spellbinder sets. This is the new Majestic Elements Marvelous Squares. I absolutely love the intricate designs on this new set of dies. With these dies, it allows you to create over 20 combinations of designs that make these dies an incredible value, and they are so fun to work with. The last set I'm using is called La Papillon, and what that means is the butterflies in French. These butterflies are gorgeous, as you will see. The papers that I'm going to be using are from the Bow Bunny Country Garden Collection. So let's create something fun. Here are all of the elements we need to create our card. I have cut and embossed them all in my Grand Caliber, and I love my Grand Caliber because I was able to cut and emboss everything that I needed for my card at one time. One tip that I like to share is remember to use wax paper when you are cutting intricate designs such as the Majestic Elements, um, any of the Card Creator Fancy dies, or even the La Papillon butterflies, by placing wax paper between the die and your paper, it allows easy release of your paper cardstock out of the die. The items that I cut and embossed are the following. I cut number seven, Matting Basics A out of my paper, and I wanna share with you how I store my Spellbinders dies. I store them in these Ziploc type pockets in custom binders that I mark so I know exactly where I need to look for each set of dies. I have my circles and squares, each in a separate binder, my card creators in one, the cut, fold, and tuck, so each set of my dies has its binder and it's very quick and easy to locate all of my dies. I number them starting at the smallest with number one and then the largest whatever number it is in the set. This happens to be the largest rectangle so or the largest card creator in the set so it's number seven um, and then this one is actually number eight. And by storing them like that I can store two sets in each Ziploc that goes into my custom binder. This is the binder and you can decorate it, write whatever you want on the end, and inside you'll see that you can store a lot of dies like this. So you can see I've numbered them, one to the largest one being number six here, and it just stores a ton of them. And that way they're all in order and very easy to locate when you want to create. And also you can put them back very easily. One more additional note, with the card creator set A and set B, and these just pull out of here. Because they are so close and you, it's very hard to tell which one's which, I took my set B and if you flip any of these over on the back side, you'll see that I took a metallic permanent marker and drew lines at all four edges. So that way when I'm ready to put them back, 
I know that these go to the small set or set B. And I've done that with all of my sets. So if you have your regular circles, the classic circles, classic squares, I have those lines drawn on the back side of all of my smallest sets. So I hope those couple tips will help you when you are organizing and creating. So what we've cut here is the butterflies out of the La Papillon sets. You'll notice that I placed one in the center here of my largest ribbon threader die. So that way you have this type of a look when you pull it out. And then I cut a few of the majestic elements. So now it's the fun time to be able to assemble what we've cut out. So here's our card base and now we're going to complete our card by placing all of the elements on the card. The first element we're going to use, and I've already ran all of my elements through my Xyron, so I'm just gonna peel them off here, is going to be one of the majestic element pieces. And I'm gonna lay it down and place it right in the center with the edge here. The next thing I'm going to be using is going to be my number seven Matting Basics A. I'm gonna place this here. So the next element we want to place on our card is the fancy ribbon threader with our butterfly cut out. And what I've done is cut two pieces of crepe ribbon and colored them with a Copic marker that matches my paper. And on the back side, I've placed a little piece of score tape. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to run this through the ribbon threader. And now we have that ran through. Now what I want to do is I want to take a little tiny piece of score tape and I want to place it right here on the back side. So I have something to anchor my end of my ribbon to. And then I'll flip it over and now I can tie my bow. And there's my bow. So now we'll attach this and we're going to place this right over our matting basics A size seven, and it fits perfectly inside the embossing of that. Now we're going to take one of the La Papillons and we're going to just glue right here on the edge, or right here in the middle, I guess. I'm using the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. The reason I chose this is because it tends to dry quickly and like it says, and it also dries clear. And that way it'll make our little butterfly look like it's flying off. Now we're going to take a couple of our accents from Majestic Elements and we're going to place those And then I have one of the other butterflies. We'll let that stick and then we can actually lift those wings up to, again, giving it the 3D effect. Now we're gonna take our little tag here and we're gonna stick it down. And I will place a sentiment on there a little later on. 
And then I'm going to take my four corners, which are actually the pieces off the majestic elements here, and we're going to place these on our card front as an accent. Like I said, I just need to add my sentiment onto my little tag, and for some reason that didn't stick, so we're gonna glue him down. I have some pearls here, and you'll notice on the fancy ribbon threader it has holes all the way around. I designed that so you can either put stickles or pearls, any kind of bling in those little holes right there. So we're going to just take some and we're just going to put them in the corners here. And then I'm going to grab a couple of cream ones and place a cream one here and a cream one there, but I don't have enough here. And then I'll place one more down there. So here is our card using Card Creator, Majestic Elements, Lap Happy Ons, and the Bow Bunny Paper. Happy creating! Thanks for watching! All of these items can be found on stampingscrapping.com.